Yeah, man, we're here. We're here. Well, Congo, man, the attack, a battle at the city, a Yo, what's up? This is Wall Street Fire. We're in my country, my place of birth, Jamaica. It's a really exciting time in Jamaica with two main things happening right now. First, you have dancehall artists continuing to make headlines worldwide. And them say, here comes trouble, here comes the danger, sent by the savior, welcome the Rasta. Whether it be people like Movado, Popcorn, making records that are resonating outside of the traditional dancehall arenas. Or young guns like Alkaline getting attention for allegedly tattooing his eyeballs black. Yeah, you need that image to, to make them go to and say, all right, I'm going to make you You cannot overlook me. Where do you get your inspiration from? Naturally, our minds are attracted to negativity, so me just play upon that. The art form is continuing to expand despite one of its leaders, Vibes Cartel, being convicted of murder and sentenced to 25 to life. Vibes Cartel responds to the whole girl and we done money, see? Get the people, they want to see we are walking on Japan, and stumble and thing. Laugh off of me, they know how we stay so up on feet like them. Secondly, and perhaps his natural reaction to the heavily tattooed skin bleach gangster stylings of Cartel and his followers, there's been a revival of positive roots ready. Here comes trouble, here comes the danger, welcome the savior, welcome the Rasta youths. What do you think the catalyst for the record revival has been? When I was coming up, our voices weren't being heard. I knew that something had to be done, and I'm sure others felt that way. I think it really formed by us just working together, and then others saw the unity and wanted to be a part of that. We are artists. We can turn life, emotions, experiences into art. And that's what people appreciate us for. Respect you to all of the foundation scene. I only teach it. Give thanks. Young artists like Jesse Royer, Protégé, Kalissa, Kiznamdi, and Chronix are making conscious music all based around the teachings they learned growing up in the religion of Rastafarianism. Our little mission is enlightening our generation. There is a different wave of consciousness happening. I would love if my music can help propel humanity into a brighter future, you know? It's amazing to see such incredible talent with a purpose. But Marley once sang, if you know your history, then you will know where you're coming from. And so with that in mind, we traveled into the hills above Kingston with a group of Naya Bingi Rastas to find out where this whole thing started. We are here gathered celebrating the anniversary birth of His Imperial Majesty Early Celeste I. This reggae music is created to teach the people. It has within it a spiritual message, a spiritual direction for people. It's great to see that this music has evolved from a downtrodden people to become an international phenomenon. The best is yet to come, because this is just the tip of the iceberg, man. Mark my word. <laughs> Yo, this is Wall Street Fire. We're in Jamaica. This is Noisy Jamaica, part two. Here comes trouble, here comes the danger. Welcome the savior, welcome the Rasta. Then I feel oxygen, I did general issue with a warning. Left, right, the soldiers are gone. Left, right, the soldiers are gone. Could I never throw it down, no boy.